Hi, I'm Cliff Ruddle, and I'm really happy to be with you today and spend a little bit of time learning more about endodontics together. I'm really enthusiastic to speak with you a little bit today about the new Wave 1 Gold. I say new because it has replaced Wave 1, its predecessor. Notice that we have different colors on the handle uh, corresponding to the ISO D0 tip diameters. We also can see at the bottom slide uh, the tapers with the files associated with their terminal extent. And then of course the main nomenclature to bring your attention to is that we speak of the small, primary, medium, and large files. Primary is used because it is always, virtually always, the first file that's used in any particular case, whether it's an anterior or posterior tooth. I'll talk to you a little bit later when we might use an, uh, either the small or the medium or the large. But primary is the first file used with experience sometimes and based on a preoperative film that reveals a large system, one might, after a glide path, select the medium file, for example. But generally, I want to come back and keep repeating, it's the primary file that's usually the first file into any particular system. So let's talk a little bit about why one might need another file either smaller or larger in the range of anatomical cases that we see on a daily basis. The assumption here is we have a smooth reproducible glide path and the canal has been secured. So in this instance we can carry the primary file down the canal like we've just talked about but what if it really won't advance? What if it really won't move so that the rubber stop goes down on the selected reference point which would suggest the files at length? Well in those instances we can go to the small. Because the small has a tip of only two hundredths of a millimeter, it's a twenty, then it will easily crawl along the glide path and carve its shape to length. Now what's important here is there is a yellow endoactivator tip that can go into these smaller shapes to agitate effectively. Also it's important to note that there is a matching master cone that fits the yellow file and so you could use this as a standalone only file that achieves length especially when the roots are narrow and long. That might be the single sole file that's taken to length. On the other hand you can think of it as a bridge file because if you have more root bulk and form, then you can use this bridge file to get back to the primary and this time the primary will go to length. Okay, what if the primary file goes to length easily, you withdraw it, there's no debris on its flutes, you grab a 2502 nickel titanium gauging file and it also is loose at length. That just simply means to the clinician the terminus of the canal is larger than the file. So in these instances we would go up to the medium. That's a 3506. So the tip, the D0 diameter is 35 and its taper is 6% and again when that file comes out you're looking for debris on its apical flutes. Uh, alternatively you can gauge with a nickel titanium 3502 but remember when we start to get up over size 30 even in the world of nickel titanium the instruments become a little bit stiff. So in these instances I would rather you gauge with a smooth flexible matching gutta percha cone from Densply Serona. That's those new cones I was speaking about that have superior sizing and formulation and slide it in and if it gets to length well, then you can pretty much be certain that that's the terminal diameter. And you would use this method on and so forth to see if you want to go to the large or not in those instances where there is a big system with a big apical diameter. Until next time, great success. Mm -hmm.